of all, um, I'm Brother Anthony Sloan of the, uh, my clan affiliation is the Middle Passage clan. To explain that to you, it means that uh, usually if you're an African, you have some sort of clan affiliation that goes back through time. Uh, because I'm an African American, uh, it means that uh, from in North America, uh, my family ties have all been severed and all kinds of mixing, miscegenation has gone, uh, which means I have uh, European blood in me, I have American Indian blood in me. So I choose the, uh, the, the Middle Passage Clan because when I look at Africa, they say, well, where do you come from in Africa? I said, whole continent, <laughs> that's me. Now I need to say that only because I don't believe, I believe some of the tenets of Pan-Africanism, but I think if you embrace Pan-Africanism, the way it's been brought down to us, you run the risk of being on what I call a hamster wheel or the gerbil wheel. You're just gonna go round and round and round and round and round. I think we need to look at, uh, let's, let's, let's do uh, Mangalusa Rabbit Sabukwe. Africanism. But it's not, it's not a race thing, it's a mental thing. So when, 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 when we look at uh, Pan-Africanism, a lot, a lot of times people want to, uh, a, a, a United States of Africa or a United Nations of Africa or something like that. But that's still based on the fact that they had that conference, you know, with King Leopold and all this and stuff, they carved up Africa. So those nations that we're talking about are actually, were actually given to us by the colonial masses, if you want to put it that way, and we are now reacting, we, we, for Pan-Africanism, you're reacting to what the colonial masters gave you or gave us. I would, if we were going to do this, I would say, uh, we, we have this thing, especially Americans, they don't, know, they don't know geography. So when you say Africa, they think Africa is a, well, not everybody, but people think Africa is a country. You hear the songs, everything, they, they'll, they'll mention, you know, China, you know, blah, you know, Japan, all of, and they'll say Africa like it's a, like it's a country. I look at that and I say, okay, let's make Africa, all of Africa, a nation. One nation. Take it away, that's before they carved it up. And then we have cultures in this nation. So what we would have is the United Cultures of Africa. I'm not gonna go into the politics and tell you do all this stuff. And that way, and then you can have regional things. For instance, let's, let's just stay, let's leave the rest of Africa alone, right? Let's stay, just stay with the Sadic nations. I'm not, I'm, and I'm talking about Madagascar too. Everybody leaves Madagascar. Madagascar all the way to the DRC. We can just start with that. Just with that area. And we say, Sadic nations, if you have a, if you a modest, you can, you have a passport, you can go to any country in the Sadic nation. Now, that's, that's, that's the only thing I want to say that I have some other points, but let's, let's can you, can you just address that? Instead of uh, uh, Pan-Africanism, well, I'm talking about the United Cultures of Africa rather than the United Nations of Africa. That's what I want to deal with. Now, now you, you, what you're trying to do is trying to make me as a spokesman. No, no. I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm, sorry. I'm just trying to explain it. I'm just trying to explain it. You know. Now, you know, um, um, your position, what, what you just said, in fact, poses a sort of challenge, which is very real to Pan-Africanism, because how does it become relevant? Now, I think in a, in a way we're saying, some of the things we're saying are the same, because I'm saying that, you know, you know the forms of racial uh, injustice and abuse, people of color generally in the world experience to be is different, much different from when Pan-Africanism took shape. And I said, I, you know, and, and I said that, and Africanism to, has to refashion its tools so that it becomes more relevant. Because the things, is, you know, the, the global landscape in terms of race relations has changed tremendously in the last 30 years or so, or 20 years, I mean, including South Africa. In the last 20 or so, 50 years, it's changed tremendously. See the civil rights movement in the US, in the 60s and what have you. Tremendous gains we're having for the first time in the in American history, I have a black president, and it's changed. And so, I mean, and then you have.